Hey guys, Phil from Running Gun Productions. Today we're gonna to be looking at a first for running gun, a leather in the waistband holster. And this comes from Wright Leather Works. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Brandon for sending this over. This is just top quality craftsmanship in leather. Uh, when you look at leather holsters, you have, you know, Galco, and they're kind of the leader of leather holsters. I have a Galco holster. Uh, I will tell you, the leather that you get from Wright is as good, if not better, than a Galco leather holster. It's got the same rigidity to it. You can see, you can pull it. It's very strong. The gun's gonna stay retained, which we'll show you later in the video. You have good, solid belt loops, but also, the snaps aren't so hard that when you're pulling them, you're bending stuff, you're, you're ripping through your, your leather, your plastic, which I've done on other holsters before. You have a lot of adjustability, so you can cant this firearm any way you want. If you go to rightleatherworks.com, they have a whole write-up on each of their holsters, a huge variety of holsters for a magnitude of different firearms. This one today that we're running is for a Glock 23 or 19, your preference. Uh, we're gonna be running the 23 today with a nine millimeter conversion barrel. Um, and I just wanna show you guys, first of all, the speed of this holster. Uh, it's there because of the way they cut this. You'll notice that this is cut very low where the trigger guard is. Now, why do they do that? Well, when you grab your firearm out of other holsters and that holster rides up to around here, you can't get that good middle finger underneath the trigger guard grip that you want. With a right, it's, it's right on the money. So when you draw that firearm out, you have your middle finger on the gun, which we'll show you, and then you close that top gap behind so that when the recoil comes, it comes straight back over the hand. Again, the craftsmanship is there. You can look at the stitching and it's just almost perfect. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna look at is printing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at, as we always do with concealed carry holsters, is printing. That's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, one of the main important things that you have to worry about when purchasing a concealed carry holster. And the holster from Wright Leatherworks, as you can see, it prints very minimally. This is from the front here. You can see I'm running it here at around the 4, 35 o'clock position. From the front, there's very minimal printing. From the side, very minimal. We're running a Glock 23 today. From the back, a thing that you always gotta focus on is, is your magazine and the, and the grip sticking out. You can see where it is there. We pull the shirt over. The printing really is very minimal the whole way around. So with this leather holster, you get the comfort and the speed of any Kydex concealed holster, but it prints, you know, almost not at all, which is good. And when you get a lot of Kydex holsters, sometimes they can get a little bulky and they start getting bigger in the pants. And what that tends to do is it pushes the gun out and it prints more, makes it uncomfortable to drive with. You can sit with this holster and drive with it at the five o'clock position, not a problem. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna work on drawing the firearm. So now we're gonna look at drawing the firearm and I wanna focus mostly on speed and grip because the grip is gonna give you better follow-up shots and the speed is gonna get your firearm out and on targets faster. We're able to still look out, see what's going on out in the important area, and reholster the firearm without ever having to look down. Again, I love Uncle Mike's and Blackhawk fabric holsters for going to the store, running up to the corner. But if you have to reholster the gun after you shoot, you end up having to either pinch and sweep your thumb, or you're looking down to see where you're actually going to reholster that firearm. With this leather from Wright Leatherworks, it's very rigid, almost like a kydex, so as you shoot and you come back down, you can just reholster the firearm while you're still looking out here at what's important. So that's a very good feature to have. Uh, that's why I always went with kydex. The problem with kydex holsters when you're carrying in the waistband is they tend to get a little bulky. This, this holster from Wright Leatherworks isn't as bulky as a kydex holster, and it is more comfortable because the leather, it, it feels better on your skin than what a kydex would where it can kind of rub you. Uh, that's just a personal preference though. So there's a lot of people out there that carry Kydex in the waistband. I've done it before. It's comfortable, but I tell you when you wear this, it almost disappears on you. So what we're gonna look at now, which is a very important thing, is shooting and drawing from the seated position. All right guys, uh, we talk about this a lot when we do holster reviews and that's drawing and shooting from the seated position. Uh, 
You know, almost everybody has to drive to work. They have to drive home. You're in your car, going to the store. You're sitting at a desk. You're sitting in, uh, you know, a movie theater, whatever it is. Can you draw that firearm from concealment and do it comfortably? And can you sit there all day with this holster and it's not going to bother you to the point where you're just like, forget it, I got to take this gun off. It's driving me nuts. Uh, this is very comfortable holster. I've been driving around with this with my Glock 23 now for a little over a month, testing it out in the car to make sure that the back of that seat doesn't drive it into your, your ass and up into your back. And that's another important thing. You don't want to be driving and go, you know what, forget this, take your gun out and set it on the passenger seat or underneath your leg or whatever. You always want to have your firearm accessible to you. And this holster allows you to do that. You know, as you're sitting down, it's right here on your waist, and it's the same draw method as you do when you're standing. So that's what we're going to look at now is drawing the gun, getting that good grip while seated, as well as getting good effective hits on target. Again, we can assess the situation out there and reholster the firearm just fine. It's that easy, you know, from the seated position. We still can clear the shirt. We still can get that good grip. We've closed the gap on the top of the gun here. And as we punch out, we got good sights on target as we transition. This also, this, this Glock has enhanced slide release and the enhanced mag release. And they work perfectly in conjunction with this holster. There's no rubbing. There's no hang-ups, uh, and, and the holster is just molded for a Glock 23, so you can add these aftermarket accessories to your firearm and not have to worry a single thing about it. So from the seated position, you're good to go as long as you practice drawing from that 4.35 o'clock position. Now what I want to look at, which is again something that until you try that holster out on a consistent daily basis, you're never really going to know, and that's moving, and not just walking. Uh, say you're running from your car into a store. You're, you're running late and you got to run some errands and you got to jog into the store. I catch myself all the time with uh, my Uncle Mike's or my Black Hawk fabric holsters putting a hand on the gun because it's bouncing around. What does that do right off the bat? It signals to everybody out there that you obviously have something on your hip. You know, it could be a cell phone, but it's your firearm. So I want to show you guys that you can run, and in this case, we're going to sprint, and this gun's going to stay put. So that as you're moving to get somewhere or moving to shoot, your, your gun is going to be retained in this holster. Very important aspect of concealed carry. So now we're going to look at moving with the firearm. I had mentioned before, um, fabric in the waistband holsters are great for just throwing your gun on your waist, going to the store. What I found carrying my Glock 23 in an Uncle Mike's holster is, as I was jogging somewhere from my car to the building, I was consistently putting my hand on the gun. And that's not good because all of a sudden you're showing everybody that you're holding something on your right or left hip. So what we're gonna look at now, which I found with right leather holsters is, you can run, you can jog, you can move from your vehicle to the building without even having to worry about your gun being there. It's not gonna bounce out because the retention is so good on this leather. So what we're gonna do now is, from the standing position, we're gonna do a quick sprint, hands up, so I'm not holding the gun, then I'm gonna draw from concealment, shoot the firearm and show you guys that it's going to stay put every time, all the time. Again, you can reholster the gun while you're looking out here. It's not going to go anywhere. I mean, you can jump up and down. It's not coming out. It's stuck in there. But you also have to while you're focusing on that is, when you draw it, you can't baby the gun out. It's gonna get hung up, and the pants are gonna come up with it. You're gonna have to give it a good, solid jerk, come up, shoot the firearm. That's how it's gonna work, because the retention is there. So keep that in mind as you purchase your concealed carry holsters. Know that if you get one from right, the firearm's gonna stay there. No matter how fast you run, how far you run, you don't have to worry about holding your gun as you jog because it's bouncing all over the place. It's going to stay put and it's going to give you that peace of mind that you need to know when you're carrying concealed. You don't have to worry about that. Alright guys, so we've shown you the printing, we've shown you drawing from the standing and the seated position, and another important aspect is moving and still being able to retain the firearm. When you buy a holster from right, I can assure you're going to get top quality, as always, and again, I've said it before in other videos, these smaller holster companies out there that aren't the big name ones 
can get you a holster almost in a faster amount of time that's gonna be as good, if not better quality for a cheaper cost to you, the buyer. And that's important because with that smaller customer base that they have, you get better customer service. So check them out online, rightleatherworks.com. They have a ton of firearms that you can purchase from, a ton of different holsters that fit your needs. This one right here is the Banshee holster. Uh, and that's just simply in the waistband. They have another one that has the belt loops with the in the waistband, so you can run it both ways. They have strictly in the waistband ones with clips and pocket holsters, wallet holsters. You got to check them out online, rightleatherworks.com. Uh, Phil from Running Gun Productions, another really good holster from a great company. Thanks for watching.